I just found out that my microphone doesn't fit into my GoPro, so everything that I record off the GoPro will have to be something that doesn't require voices, <laughs> which sucks because that GoPro is for um, moto vlogging. Anyway, these are the pieces. Of course, this is the piece that I showed you on this page. If I can find it, yeah. This piece, the calf part. This is this. Of course, you're gonna have to, you know, scale it yourself, which I can't help you with, but it's not really that hard. They're just triangles, and you just place it. You can look at whatever animal you're trying to reference for your digitigrade. Um, this is a wolf, so Canaan legs are pretty easy to, you know, figure out. Um, the upper thigh part of the leg. In this display, it shows the three-piece digitigrade, where it has this piece detached, but there's still a whole muscle right here. Um, I didn't do that because the material that I'm using to put over the foam, you just don't glue this together and stick it inside the fur because that's not how it works. You have to put a sleeve over it of some sort of material. And I'm using fleece, and that's not very, you know, that doesn't stop friction. So if you wanted to, like, have it slide around, you know, and have movement within, under the fur, you would use satin or any other smooth type material for that. Um, I use fleece and then I attach velcro onto the most part where is, there's going to be... Well, this needs to have freedom of movement under the fur, but I, I, detach, I attach the velcro somewhere on the top so it's still held in place and not just like slowly trying to get shoved down onto your leg and you look like you have tumors in your leg. That's another thing you don't want is that when you're drawing make sure that your leg does not look like it has cancer. <laughs> um, I think our glue gun is just about ready. I mean it's doing this disgusting thing. I didn't even, I didn't even squeeze the trigger, and it's doing this. I hope it's not broken. <coughs> it smells so bad. And start gluing it together. I'm missing a piece. There's supposed to be four. It's another one. Found it. This person that I'm making. His name's Sketch. He has a YouTube channel. I don't know if he still uses it. I used to edit his videos for him. You can try to go check him out. I'll link him in the description. I don't know. But there you go. Now it's twice as thick. This is... I think it's one and a half. Two inch, one and a half um, upholstery foam. Don't feel like getting thicker upholstery foam because it's really hard to cut the thicker ones without a turkey cutter. And turkey turkey cutter sounds a little, you know, drastic. But it's like the best thing to cut upholstery foam with. Um, but yeah. You know, I just realized I never did my intro. I hate that. I hate doing intros. What's the point? You know who I am. It says my name down below. What am I going to do? Say my real name? Do you want to know my real name? I really don't want you to know my real name. I was planning on making a pre-made suit again. The- oh, I forgot to show it to you. I have a lot of clips. I'll try to put together like a little stupid compilation. Unzip the suit. No. You're not gonna have a problem. 
let's not do that because I remember all the cancerous things that I did. It'd just be awful. God damn it. The other piece of foam's missing. As I was saying, I was going to do another pre-made, like the dragon one, the kimono dragon suit that's somewhere in my channel amongst the other tumors, but I have too many slots filled. I currently have four slots that I need to be working on and it's so it's so stressful already, so I can't imagine that I can squeeze in a pre-made. But I will be repairing my suit and I will be remaking my head and remaking my paws. I don't know about my feet paws. They're not that bad. They're still usable. They're not falling apart like my head and my paws are. And my suit isn't exactly sewn together properly. It's sewn together through a quilt stitch but it's the type of stitch that will be pulled apart. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I know exactly what I'm doing, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, so as you have all your stuff together, glued together, you know, you don't want it to look like this direct shape. You want it to be round, smooth, stuff like that. Alright, so when you take your scissors, you're going to take off all of these edges, and I'm going to make it smaller because this is way too big. If you've seen my other video of how I turned Charlie from a three-fourths to the full suit, I would have explained how instead of cutting up my own mannequin, I would have wrapped it in saran wrap and then put that into duct tape to make a DTD of this DTD. There we go. So yeah, you're going to shave the edges off, make it round. You're going to put this on here with a few pieces of duct tape, wrap this in saran wrap, repeat the process throughout the entire body, and then proceed to put the rest of the duct tape on it to finish this DTD. That's the plan. After you get all of your pieces shaped into the shape that they should be, um, they're not going directly onto this. They still look pretty blocky. They're not going to stay in one place very well. They're going to be moving from side to side whenever you get knocked into. So whenever, um, with my digit grade, I had it on my leg like this, of course but I used a piece of foam right here to come over my leg to keep it in place so that if I got knocked to the side it would stay centered but of course it still goes this way but with the other foam piece being here they didn't really go that far when they went this way so you're going to want to put a one inch slab of foam just a wall to cover up this part right here it will make the shape look better than just like a straight block on your leg and when you walk around it'll look better so yeah do that I'm out of breath again I need to do something with my life all right so after you get this thing onto here like the wall thing I was talking about you cut out your sleeves because you need sleeves for the foam because foam does oxidize I think that's the word it turns yellow after it's exposed for a long time I think it makes it weaker I'm not sure but it's ugly so yeah make sleeves of just it's not really that important all I did was just set the foam on top of this fabric traced out the shape and then now I'm sewing the edges but I'm leaving the flat surface open so like you just slip it on and off easily. That's about it. Not that hard. Probably the easiest process. It's just I have to hand sew this stuff so that's not easy when it's not fur because 
fabric is stretchy. Okay, so by this time you should have your sleeves onto your phone and they should be ready to be inserted by Velcro into your suit. Alright kitties, so you should have your sleeve onto your phone. Of course, this is all exposed still. And I didn't really do anything besides them. Um, they were held together by a button. There is a button slit in this where I just didn't care anymore. Because these were glued into my suit. But when I turned it into a full suit, I had to rip them out to be able to sew everything on here. Yeah, I think it's one o'clock in the morning right now. I just really want to finish this video. I didn't want you guys to wait on me to finish that suit just so I could finish that one part. Oh my god, this is sticky. Ugh. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my god. Do not exceed temperatures of 100 degrees, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it only reaches 110, maybe 115 inside a suit. Can't really survive if it reaches 120. I think your blood starts to boil, and by that point, you'd start passing out and getting, like, sick and throwing up and dying. We don't want that. And when you get to that point, no one really cares if you ruin the magic. What am I talking about? Alright, so I'm, I'm just guessing you stick this shit in here, and uh, as it's stuck in the place that you want it to be, oh my god, get in there. Stuck in the place that you want it to be placed, which is the place where it usually would be placed. I'm guessing that you just peel off the adhesive and stick it on there. I don't want it to be on any... What do you call that? Seams. I don't want it to be glued onto any seams. That's just, that would be annoying. Okay. Let's just wing it. This isn't a tutorial anymore. This is just watch me make something. Oh my. How can you? Oh. Alright. It's not on any seams. It's on like this black part. Alright, cool. Oh, it smells really bad. It smells like... Like if you put a lot of chemicals in your hair, and then you like burn your hair, that's what it smells like. It's exactly what it smells like. No exaggeration. Okay. So that's how you do it. And it says to wait to cure for 24 hours, which is a long ass time. But I'm gonna, after I'm done, I'm just gonna, like, wear this and show you what it looks like. Maybe? I don't know. I just came back from Six Flags. Not just came back. I, I just came back from Six Flags four hours ago with my friends. And I think they had a fun time. Not sure. <laughs> At some points of the time, they really looked like they were ready to kill themselves, but it's it's fine. I hope I'm not putting these in like sideways, cause it kind of. Am I? Wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot up if I did. There there you go. There's your leg, and then boom, bam, and then there's your makeup. All right. Oh my god. I hate my life. It's not coming off. You know, if anyone uses me in a cringe compilation, can you, like, email it to me? So a lot of people on Vine make like hate vines, but they're kind of funny. You know, that, that really says something. <laughs> people make hate vines about you. I think you should rethink your life. But it's funny. It's for
for comedy. I am going to be, when I repair my suit, I'm going to be um, tightening this a little more around my body where it fits me thinner and it's going to um, be shorter too because this is like way too baggy. I got like the baggy crotch and I don't want that. I don't know, maybe I might just make it skinnier so it fits me better. Please get off. Ugh. Maybe, hopefully, this helped you. Probably. Not really. I I hope it did. Cause my friend, shout out, her name is Divinity, asked me to make this video. Cause she's currently working on her fursuit right now. She's having a little trouble with the digital grade. I can understand that from first-hand experience. It's not the funnest thing to work with, but it does have like the best turnout ever. So if you are thinking about um, Digita Grade, I highly recommend it. It's so cool. Like the end result is so great, but it is a lot of work. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching.